consider um, voting for me on April the 4th because I would like to continue to work for the people of Raytown because it's important that we bring our city back to where it used to be. Because I remember when there was no vacant businesses because they were all full. And previously, that was not the case. We have a lot of places that were just, shall I say, run down. And you can see where they've been revitalized. Raytown Plaza is booming. And, and things are just looking very, very good for our community. So I thank you much. I thank the League of Women Voters and the Chamber for hosting this. And thank you very much. Greg Walters. Thank you. I'm, uh, I'm still here. Greg Walters. <laughs> <laughs> Running for all the Red Board. But, uh, as many of you probably already know, I've been on the City Council before. I served from 1980 through 1996. And again, from 1998 through 2009, I had a two-year break where I lost an election by three votes that I don't like to think about too often. Anyway, uh, I believe that the experience from those 27 years to be an asset on the City Council. I've done, I have a, a history on the City Council that I'm really quite honestly very proud of. Um, I was, when I was a freshman alderman, myself and another alderman named Garth Bear brought along the innovation of television to broadcasting city council meetings. Raytown was picture perfect for this because we already had uh, cable television in the area and when a large plumber came in to buy it, uh, we made a deal with them and said, yes, you can do it, but you have to give us broadcasting ability. And they also threw a camera, so we were quite pleased with that, which wasn't too bad for a couple of guys in their early 20s. I, as, you, as you probably all know by now, uh, I was active in the recycling what I think Janet mentioned earlier, so that you know the rest of the story, is there was one budget year where we were falling short on funds for the recycling center. I spearheaded a, a movement which took in a lot of people. We got help from Jackson County, from uh, the Truman Hartman Foundation, a lot of the city employees, and a lot of trash haulers in the area in keeping recycling alive. And we were able to raise $10,000 to keep it going. I bring these up because I want you to know that I'm somebody that's going to come up here for a purpose. I will work hard for you. I don't walk away from problems. I try to solve those problems. I'd like to think that I'm more successful than not. Finally, in closing, I'd like to say that I've been watching my Mayor McDonough and the Board of Aldermen work up here since they took office two years ago. I'm generally impressed, and I'll be honest with you, I hope to be able to join them in shaping Raytown's future. <coughs> And I ended right on time. <laughs> uh, finally, Jason Green. Thank you. I had a statement before I make my closing remarks. Um, I guess a lot of folks don't seem to realize that the um, budgets are, are mandated by state statutes for a balanced budget. Um, we obviously had emergency repairs uh, late last year with the sinkhole on Northern that we had to address. Uh, for the first time that I'm aware, uh, we formed a committee, an additional committee, to provide additional oversight cuts. It even prompted uh, our former finance director, Mark Loffrey, to say that this was the most criticized and objective budget in his history with the city. Considering we went back after 1% across the board cuts and made additional cuts. Uh, for my closing remarks, um, I'd like to thank the League of Women Voters for hosting this event, the public for attending, and the candidates for coming this evening. The past 10 years that I've had the opportunity to live, teach, coach in Raytown, I've had the opportunity to meet a lot of special people. They say everyone has a story, well so does every town. My family and I decided to make Raytown our home because we see the great potential that our community has and we love the people here. I decided to run it for all of it as another avenue to serve and assist with many of long existing challenges. Challenges that need to be faced by individuals free of poor influences and political agendas. The challenges and issues that myself and others have faced this past couple years, I feel will define or feel defines what public service is about. Regardless of the decision if we personnel of downtown investment, business investment, budget cuts, or even more objective set of eyes we place on city bids and contracts, this is done out of compassion and concern. We are on the cusp of some additional great opportunities for A Town. 
obviously Rock Island, downtown investment, things like that. I'm getting rushed here. <laughs> I just want to say it's been an honor to been endorsed by a wide variety and diversity of community leaders. And I pledge that I will continue to put people over politics and our community first, no matter how difficult the decision. Thank you. Thank you, panelists, for your willing to participate in this forum. Thank you, audience, for your thought-provoking questions. I got everybody here. Yes. And to I'd like to extend an invitation to everyone here tonight to join the League of Women Voters. We are nonpartisan and focus on voter education. We have information in the lobby, and if we don't, just ask a League member, and we can tell you about how to join. We encourage you to go to vote411.org for nonpartisan election information. We've put that together, and you can go in, put in your information, and get a sample ballot of the information to take to the polling place so that you can think about who you want to vote for at vote411.org. Be sure to share the insights you have gained tonight with your family and friends and get out to the polls and vote on Tuesday, April 4th. Uh, we're at Raytown Online, so you can relive these glorious moments. And uh, I have one question that I ask a couple of the early candidates who came, and they said, well, we could ask that question because they knew the answer. What's the capital of Indonesia? <laughs> Would you like to share it? I. 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 <laughs> That's a joke I just learned today from a fifth grader. <laughs>